آؤزبلّہشیطانجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان دینا عند اللہ السلام صدق اللہ العظیم رب شرحلی صدری و یسرلی عمری وحل العقدت من لسانی یفق قولی ریسپیکٹڈ ویورز اینڈ لسنر السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ دا ورس وچ آئی ہیو ریسائٹیڈ از فرام سورا عمران چیپٹر تھری ورس نائنٹین اللہ سیز ان دینا عند اللہ السلام The religion which is going to accept on the Day of Judgment, which will be accepted on the Day of Judgment, is Islam. Today I am going to educate my viewers, especially the Western society, that what is the true meaning of Islam. You see, we have many dictionaries. In the dictionaries, we have some definitions towards religions. like a dictionary like Encyclopedia Britannica or Advanced Learners, Oxford, etc. You see, when you write the word religion, any dictionary, on any dictionary, what you will find that the collection of rites and rituals and it implies to all of the religions when you type and search in any particular dictionary. Let me correct my viewers, especially viewers from the Western civilization or Western people, especially English speaking people that do not mix Islam with your religious beliefs or religious methodologies. Islam is par excellence. The concept Islam has, which indulges rights and rituals along socio-political economic system lumped up inseparable and it becomes deen in the deen عند الله الاسلام the definition of deen is the way of life not just rights and rituals and your personal creed dogma or doctrine it is the name which inbreds the quality of rites and rituals along with all those what you call necklaces or what you call the pearls socio-political economic system social laws political laws economical laws when all these three systems lumped together with rites and rituals it becomes islam And today I will tell you the main or a major difference between Islam and all other religions. You see, people do not know that Islam is not just the rites and rituals. Unfortunately, we have adopted this kind of lifestyle that we take Islam as a rites and rituals only, which is not true, which is not true and which is not accurate. So in today's lecture of mine, I will educate the Western people, especially the Western viewers that do not take Islam as your religious definitions, meaning rites and rituals. Islam is par excellence. And I will dissect this today and I will show you how Islam started, what blueprints Islam gave to the rest of the world and how Islam spread like a bullet, like a spark. From Jazeera al-Arab, this Arabian Peninsula, to the Western Roman Empire, to the whole of the Europe, the Spain, and to the Sassanid Empire, Iran, Persian Empire, Byzantine Empire, under the feet of Umar ibn al-Khattab, on and on. So first of all, what we have to understand is this, that the main purpose of Islam was to establish the social justice all over the world. وَمَارْ سَلَّاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةَ لِلْعَالَمِينَ O Muhammad, peace be upon him. We have not sent you but as a mercy for whole of the world's alameen is the plural form of alam. Alam means world, alameen, worlds in plural. Surah Al-Anbiya chapter 21 verse 107 Now this verdict when it came, 
you apply to all the previous messengers or prophet from Adam alayhi salam up to Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. No prophet in the past brought the total revolution of socio-political economic system. It was only Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, because his divine mission was to uh, spread the message of Islam into the whole world. And when there is a final testament, the final law is to be exhibited, which should be implemented. Of course, you need a supreme, absolute, correct law, which is which would be beneficial for whole of the humanity till doomsday. And this is what Quran, this is what we boast. We Muslims boast that we have the scriptures which can take all other scriptures. Just bring your problems, Allah says. Bring your problems and Quran will supply the answer. Just a challenge. Starting from the beginning. What is the difference between Islam and other religion? First of all, you have to understand. All the prophets brought one message that is worship Allah and believe in that prophet at a particular time or representative of Allah whosoever was he sent at a particular time you ought to believe in him and the main fundamental message though he that there is one God and that prophet is the representative of that God. That's it. From the beginning, from Adam alayhi salam. On and on and on, corruption came into the scriptures and all that stuff. God sent another prophet, prophets after prophets, messengers after messengers. When Jesus Christ came, another problem started. And anyways, the, the, the subject was due or respited till his second coming. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, came. When he came, Allah revealed that, Oh Muhammad, you came for whole of the mankind. Before that, all prophets were sent to the particular nation and the laws were given only for to, to just solve those, uh, you know, selective issues, not the law which was for all of the system, to correct all of the system. When the Quran came, Quran made the law which was beneficial till doomsday. 23 years of prophetic life of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, Quran was revealed step by step, not like once a book came down on earth to find the problems, to solve the problems of the people. Micro analysis to macro analysis, Quran gives you and supply the answers. And this is the book which does not just make generalization statements. It gives challenges. You, if you think you are better than this, then bring something like of this or like of that and you will never be able to produce it. Then prepare yourself for the hellfire whose fuel is men and stone. Prepare for the disbelievers. وَقُودُهَا النَّاسُ وَالْحِجَارَةَ عُدَّتْ لِلْكَافِرِينَ Chapter 2 verse 23. Allah says, first bring. I will make one another lecture, inshallah, on the magnitude of Quran. And I will tell you where Allah gives several challenges to the disbelievers. And if you think you are smart, then produce something like of it. Even you all are backed up with one another, with all your secret societal, you know, agencies or this black magic, you will not be able to produce it. Challenge of the Quran from 1400 years. I would like to see any Arab Christian, a Coptic Christian dare to produce something like of Quran and produce the results and change and bring the revolution which Prophet Muhammad peace and brought it. The biggest revolution in the history of mankind. One man did it. Napoleon Bonaparte came. He changed only the political laws. Social laws, economical laws were intact. Bolshevik, Manshevik, Hitler, this uh, Iron Man, this uh, Joseph Stalin, Das Kapital, Frederick, Karl Marx, and Frederick Engels. What did they change? They changed economical system. The only person who brought the total revolution in the annals of history, none other than Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, Michael H. Hart had to comment. He was persuaded to comment that Prophet Muhammad was the only person who was supremely successful both in religious and secular fields. 
and he picked his own you know lord inverted comma jesus christ number three because he said that i owe an explanation about picking of jesus on number three is because christianity was a religion which was to be shared between paul saul of tarsus and jesus of nazareth hence i conclude that this is going to be on number three michael h hart he wrote in his book 100 people most influential people on the surface are from adam up to current times all the holy scriptures they talk about prophet muhammad peace be upon him pick anyone hindu scriptures judeo-christianity a judeo-christian scriptures prophet muhammad peace be upon him is mentioned and this is not the topic right now so i will not go into that but in the bible he has been mentioned by proper noun not just like adjectives or something you can make out of it proper noun prophet muhammad has been mentioned and before prophet muhammad's birth this name was never to be found in the annals history of arabs the first time muhammad sallallahu the name has been ascribed only to prophet muhammad bin abdullah remember this in the history you will never find muhammad before prophet muhammad peace be upon him because he ought to be praised muhammad means the one who's being praised the praised one is the last and the seal of the prophets and god almighty wanted to be him praised wanted him to be praised all over the world either you like it or not five times a day in adhan in proclamation of adhan we say ashhadu la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna muhammad rasulullah then this is the miracle of miracles for 1400 years nobody is able to stop this hum the praised one that he is the last and the final umar sallallahu illa rahmatan lil alamin laqad kana lakum fi rasulillahi uswatun hasana the best example is to be found in the stature of prophet muhammad peace be upon him so coming towards the issues about understanding rites and rituals you have to understand islam is par excellent concept it has social laws political laws economic laws and the way of life absolute power goes to allah alone nobody is superior than allah god almighty nobody is superior sovereignty belongs to him alone Nothing must be done to the repugnant of the Holy Quran and Sunnah. Wa kabbiru takbira. He is the one. He is deserved to be worshipped. He deserves to be uh, praised. Who Allah who is la ilaha illa Hu. He is Allah who is al, al, al King, Al Malik, Al King, Al Quddus, the Holy One, As Salam, the Source of Peace and Perfection. He is one to be praised. Ought to be praised. Nobody else. Nobody else. No entity else. So, clear your minds that Islam is way of life, not what you are thinking of Islam. All the dictionaries, they do not carry the real weight or real way to explain Islam. So, this is clear. All the prophets who came, they brought one message, but the culminating point to make all the message into one nutshell, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, Prophet Muhammad did it. And now all the people have to follow him if you want to have eternal life. This is what you ought to do. And Jesus says that when the Holy Spirit will come, he will guide into all truth. Prophet came and guided us into all truth, even the small matters, micro analysis to macro analysis. Nobody can go to Jannah paradise. Once he listens, the name of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. Listen to him, obey to him, and you see there is a natural religion in him. Don't go for media, those yellow journalism, they do not know what they're talking about. They started a campaign against Islam. More people reverted since they started this all games against Islam. You plot against Allah, Allah is the better plotter than you and he's the best to defeat you in all your plottings. So Islam is the rights and not rights and ritual. It's par excellent concept. 
once you understand your behavior will come right it is our job to provide a social justice to the whole of the world we are the torch bearers now we are the beacons beacons to the rest of the world but what's happening to us i always say it is for us to do all these jobs jobs in sobriety piety charity brotherhood social justice unfortunately we are not doing that prophet sallam says that why the previous nations were killed or world you know penalized or were came into the wrath of allah because what they used to do they do not apply the laws and justice for rich people and they only punish the poor society that is why allah destroyed those nation and their zawal their decline started now if you see and analyze on ourselves all the rich people they're enjoying all the provisions look at the poor people but remember that all your provisions and indulging of your you know high fi lifestyle ultimately they are going to the dust down to the drain where to your qabr to your grave so nobody is going to live forever all the sublime beauty and this all things you know uh, what you call beautification adornment of this world and dunya it's all going to be finished and doomed one day so this is all your hallucination and illusion you are living in ultimately you are going to die so our supreme purpose is to bring the message of islam and spread the rest of the world tell to the west that our muhammad peace be upon him who is he tell to the west it is because of him you people are straight jacketed the western civilization the inner core the inner inner engine is all quranic had it been for the spain or those universities cordova cordova granada they were not developed these italian renaissance wouldn't happen in the history it was italian renaissance which led for the inspiration of the muslims of spain then later on it just it's in uh, what you call spread into the rest of the europe then the reformation came had it been for us not to do these things they wouldn't have been existed these people in the dark ages the european societies you read your own history you people do not know how to eat the onions you first and so what is the purpose of onions you take the tea you just boil the tea you you just throw the water and then you chew the tea this is the how civilized you were first time you saw the muslim lands the system of water hygiene hygiene and all these stuff first time you saw it in the muslim lands that what is the purpose of water otherwise for weeks these vikings they do not take baths this is how good you were so th- just say thanks to us what we have made to you and you are so much in gratitude and unfortunately our people are so much ignorant they do not know what is our bright history of islam what we know today is the western what they are giving you thumb sucking it but you do not know what's your real image and you lost it anyways i i might little bit drifted off from the main topic but inshallah in the next video i will continue and tell you that what islam is but what is the main message spread the message of god to the rest of the world tell the sublime stature of prophet muhammad sallam to the western society and tell to the whole world islam is just not the name of rites and rituals it is the complete socio political economic system wa akhiru da'wana an alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin